Okay, so here in the waiting room we have Josh from Keiko. How are you, Josh? I'm fine, thanks. How are you doing? Are you feeling okay? Yes, I am. Great. So, yeah. And Keiko, what is what is it and what are you seeking from these giants? Yeah, so Keiko is a property investment tool that helps property owners um, go through the journey of investing in the property from start to finish. Well, that's Wonderful. all you need to do. You've done at the pitch to us. You need yes. to do a pitch in there. Oh, yeah. That's all I have to do. <laughs> we I wish you the best, Josh. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is Josh and I'm the co-founder of Kiko. Yes. From Perth. Um, we will pick my stuff. Um, so Kiko is a property management and investment software that helps property owners manage and control their property from start to finish. Um, growing up in Zimbabwe, um, uh, I saw property as a, a house that is for uh, family ownership. Um, so it's a house that's passed through generation, family to family. Nobody really owned the house and it, it's, it's seen as wealth. Um, coming to Australia, I saw how uh, I got swept up in the, um, the Australian dream of owning your own property. And then I got my first property and I was like, wow, I'm doing well. And then I saw the hurdles of owning a property, or buying a property, or selling a property, or even renting a property out. And that's when I thought, why is there so much confusion, and so much issues, and so many steps? Why isn't there an easier way? Introducing Kiko. So Kiko allows you to simulate, simulate finding a property, um, and then tracking that property, and then actually getting all the services and advice along the way. It, guides you along the journey from buying a property to selling a property or from buying a property to renting or being a landlord of the property. Um, the best thing about Kiko is it encourages you, it shows you how well you're doing, it gives you the services in a rating format so you can see uh, who has five stars or who is affordable from the services, from agents to settlement agents, to valuers, to cleaners, to all sorts of services that are involved in property ownership, and even uh, mortgage brokers. And it tells you everything you need to know uh, in order for you to take full control and have that um, money in the bank from um, how much money you've got from the property. Is it a computer program that you're running, Josh? That's correct. It's a computer program. And Josh, your, your suppliers that you're using, your property managers, your finance brokers, etc., are you taking their ratings from um, social media, etc., online, or are they, or are you referring through to people who <coughs> are prepared to pay commissions or prepared to, prepared to be on your on your site? So, so commission based. So you only got you're only recommending people who have. You're the aware of who are paid commission, the yes. Rates but they rate them. They rate them, and then you can see the rating from the users. But are you taking any any um, commissions from from the, the, from the brokers? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Is that a conflict in itself? If you are telling, just trying to understand, a person who owns a house, which suppliers to use, and there's a commission being taken by those suppliers. How does that advice make you objective yeah. in saying they are good five-star suppliers? Do you vet them in any way first before you yes, recommend them? Yes, there's some yep. vetting involved. Um, there's um, contact way before we set the whole thing up. But basically, people can actually select from a number of, of people that are not rated by Kiko, but they're rated by the users that have used them uh, from time to time. If someone's used a... Um, a conveyor, they know how much they, how well their rating was and how much affordable they were. So what would be the difference if, if we go to a restaurant today, we're Googling the restaurant and looking at the rating. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference in your rating and just Googling the supplier and looking at comments on The difference is it's by Kiko users that are actually investing the property through that. So 
you know that it's people that actually own houses that are rating them rather than anybody right. rating them. And how many people do you have on your platform now? At the moment, we're in MVP, so we've got 10. 10, yep. Uh, you're looking for customers who are going to be repeat customers more than people who are just going to buy one house and sell it a couple of years down that the track. That is correct. You're looking for people who are buying and flipping houses. Buying and uh, flipping houses or renting the house out. Or okay. when they buy another house or sell that house, they're still staying in the kitchen. So that's a fairly slow growth rate if you're just looking at purchases. So is it something that uh, you would be approaching existing investors and looking to swing them over onto your right system? Well. And you have a strategy towards yes, towards that? Yes, yeah. Could you run through what that might be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Without giving away intellectual property. <laughs> yeah, so basically the strategy is that um, uh, they can get insurance on the properties that they have existing. They can get all the services and amenities that yep, yep. they would want. Yep. Yeah. How are you going to find these customers? Uh, there's a lot of people who are wanting to go on a platform that actually allows them to control their property and, and search for properties. Um, it's word of mouth, but it's also um, through realestate.com. People searching there can actually go to keep up. So we're actually going to be integrated with them. Okay. What sort of income are you looking in your first few years? What, what, what are we looking about? income or profit? Uh, first few years, profit. Uh, we're looking at um, two to three million. Two to three million profit or income? Uh, income. Okay, and how much of that is profit? Um, probably about close to one million. Okay, and what are you looking for from us? Um, looking for um, 250,000 or 15%. Or 15, okay. And Ed, good job. Thanks, Brian. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, John.